Grace and peace to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to share our weekly update for June 11th, 2020. And I want to begin with the prophet Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah spoke these words from God to the people from the 58th chapter. Is not this the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin? Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and God will say, Here I am. God responds through Isaiah to a people who are going through the motions of worship in excellent style, but who have not allowed worship and praise to seep into their everyday lives. They talk the talk, but they do not walk the walk. I hope and pray you were able to spend time with the Wednesday devotion recording for June 10th, 2020. It features a short sermon, just six minutes, by the Reverend Tracy Blackman from the United Church of Christ. It is an opportunity to listen to an African-American preacher speak to the ways for the church to combat racism and other forms of oppression. Please be sure to check it out. It's on our YouTube page and linked in our Friday email for June 12th. I'm working with staff and some of our members to form spiritually rich learning opportunities regarding racism, white privilege, and implicit bias. I'll be launching a six-week curriculum entitled Imagine No Racism, which was written for and by our own Upper New York Conference. It is designed to help us learn so that we may act in dismantling racism. I'm hoping to hold our first session on June 29th via Zoom. More details to come. There are two books I am also inviting us all to engage with over the summer. The first is White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Racism by Robin D'Angelo. The second is a novel entitled Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Heel Hurston. Some of the discussion groups for these books may come together outdoors with all wearing masks and six feet apart. On Saturday, June 6th, Governor Cuomo moved gathering restrictions from 10 people to 25% of sanctuary capacity for churches. This is a hopeful sign, and I know that some of you are eager to be in our beloved sanctuary for worship again. What wasn't clear in the governor's announcement was the 10 pages of state government requirements and recommended best practices that all churches must comply with, and the required submission of a safety plan to the state. Latest research indicates that the highest risk is person-to-person -person contact for 20 minutes or longer. This does not mean that it isn't possible to catch the virus in shorter contact or from surfaces, just that the greatest risk is spending time with another person, which is what we do in worship. We spend an hour in a room next to others, sitting, singing, Singing poses a huge risk. We have an excellent team working to bring us together slowly with the least amount of risk possible. Our first opportunity to come into our beloved sanctuary for worship will be short communion services of approximately 20 minutes for 10 people at a time. These services will be by reservation and we will have the registration form in next week's email and on our website. We will offer two services on Sunday afternoon, June 21st, two on Monday, June 22nd, and two on Wednesday, June 24th. Pastor Debbie and I will take turns leading the service. All communion elements are pre-packaged and sealed, juice and wafer. And we will be sharing all the details very soon, including a little video on what to expect those who do not feel they can attend at this time, which is perfectly acceptable, may request blessed communion elements 
to be either picked up on the parsonage porch or dropped off at your home if possible. The blessed elements will come with a worship card to guide you in creating a worship experience in your own home. We do long to be together in body as well as spirit, but we must make sure that we do so in ways that protect love and care for one another. This means we must wear masks correctly at all times in the building. We must maintain six feet social distancing in all directions. And we must wash those hands and sanitize our hands as frequently as possible. This is what it means in our current reality to be a compassionate community led and transformed by the Spirit. Please be holding our staff and our church leaders in prayer as they attend to all of the details needed to bring us safely together again. Grace and peace be with you all.